everyone welcome into our lecture of unit 3 the consonants of english which is on page 24 let's get started so there are two good reasons for beginning with consonants rather than vowels اكو سببين انه يخلينا نبدا بالconsonants okay الحروف الصحيحه rather uh, rather than vowels okay first consonants contribute more to making english understood than vowels do اول سبب عندنا اللي هي الconsonants الحروف الصحيحه يطوع عن نقول أو يخلن إنه more uh, contribute more to making English understood. Okay, they make English okay more understood. يعني مفهوم than vowels do. Then الحروف ال علة. Second, consonants are generally made by a definite interference of the vocal organs with the air stream. So and so are easier to descri uh, describe and understood. So ثاني ثاني شيء نقول consonants اللي هي الحروف الصحيحة. So we make them. Second, consonants are generally made, okay, احنا نسويهن by definite interference, يعني تداخل of the vocal organs, the organs that produce the sound, okay, with the air stream, okay, تداخل بين the vocal organs with the air stream, يعني تجاه الهواء, okay, and so are easier to describe and understand. لذلك حتكون easier and uh, to describe أسهل إنه إنه حتى نعبر عنها أو understood مفهومة. Right. In here, we have native speakers of English from different parts of the world have different accents. So, like a person that is a native speaker, that person has different accent, okay, uh, from another person. But, but the differences of accent are mainly the result of difference in the sound of the vowels. But the اختلاف بين accent, okay, بين اللهجات, okay, are mainly the result. يعني هي تكون result of اختلاف the sounds of the vowels, okay. يعني the vowels هي اللي تؤدي إلى اختلاف the accents بين قوسين يعني إذا نقولها. The consonants are pronounced in very much the same way uh, wherever English is, spo is spoken. So the حروف الصحيحة هن نتكلمها إحنا the same way بنفس الطريقة wherever English is spoken. وين ما نقدر نتكلم إنجليزي. So if the vowels you use are imperfect, it will not prevent you from being understood. So basically, if the vowels, the حروف العلة, إحنا نقولهن imperfect way, يعني بطريقة غير جيدة, it will not prevent you. ما راح يمنعك from being understood. ما راح يمنعك من إنه الناس تفهمك. But if the consonants are imperfect, there will be a great risk of misunderstanding. بس إذا تكلمنا the consonants, the حروف الصحيحة, بطريقة غير جيدة. راح نكون بريسك يعني بخطر اوف مس اندرستاندينج الشخص ما راح يفهمنا المقابل اوكي ان ديلينج وذ ذا كونسوننتس يو ماست فيرست ليرن هاو ايتش وان از مينلي ديستينغويشد فروم ذا اذرز اذا احنا هسه نتعامل ويا الحروف الصحيحه لازم اول شيء نتعلم اوكي هاو ايتش وان از مينلي ديستينغويشد شلون نقدر نميز بين هذا حرف صحيح ولا هذا الحرف الصحيح the features which it must have so that it will not be mistaken for any other consonants. So the features, يعني كل واحد شنو خاصيته نقدر نميزه بين إيش حرف وإيش حرف. Okay. So then later you will learn about any special sound. رح نتعلم على any special sound of that phoneme. Okay, من الصوت, which need small changes. تحتاج القليل من الاختلافات changes in their formation. In different uh, circumstances, changes which are not essential if you simply want to be understood, but which will make your English much uh, sound better. Okay. First, we have friction consonants. We have different consonants. We will explain them in the next lectures or videos. Okay. Let's uh, start today with friction consonants. The friction consonants in Google, there are nine consonant phonemes. عندنا تسع حروف صحيحة أصوات. Okay, phonemes. Whose main sounds all have a friction as their important feature. Then the التسع consonants حروف الصحيحة اللي هن اللي نسميهن أصوات. Okay, phonemes all have a friction. Okay, كل اثنين عندهن friction as their most important feature. So ف ذ ث ذ س ز ش ج ه. Okay, ه يعني ه ه. For all of them. The lungs push air through a narrow opening where it causes friction of various kinds. So, the كل هذين الأصوات عدنا ياهن هذين الأصوات. Okay, كل اثنين عدنا ال the lungs push air the الرئتين راح يدفع عن الهواء through a narrow opening through فتحة صغيرة where it causes friction of various kinds. Okay, 
اول شيء نبلا شويه الفاء والفاء عندنا الفاء والفاء اوكي for both فاء and ذا the speech organs are in the position shown in figure 12 Notice, Adne, the soft palate is raised so that no air goes through the nose and it is all forged through the mouth. Awal notice, Adne, Hanane, Awal Nokta, Eli Adne, the soft palate, okay, a soft palate, Haye, this is a soft palate, all right, is raised. Titale, Nana Alinaha, okay, so that no air goes through the nose. Yakada, no air, Marahig, Dabi Hurjman knows the English, Yen Alinaha, Alene. The soft palate, okay, and it is all forced through the mouth. So basically, our نقطة عدنا اللي هي the soft palate is raised. نعليها the soft palate so that no air goes through the nose. No air ما راح يقدر ال air الهواء يسمح م يخرج من ال nose ليش لين علينا هاي ال soft palate. And it is all forced through the mouth. كل الهواء راح يقدر يعني مجب ينجبر forced okay to go through out the mouth. Right. The second one is the bottom lip. Is very close to the upper front teeth. High bottom lip is very close. يعني بالقرب من upper front teeth. This forms the narrowing, and when air is pushed through this narrowing, it causes a slight friction. إحنا ثاني نقطة قلنا the lower lip is very close to the upper front teeth. شو راح يسوي هاي? It will form a narrowing. يعني فتحة صغيرة. When the air is pushed through this narrowing, the air راح راح يندفع من هاي الفتحة الصغيرة اللي هي راح causes a Slight friction. Okay, we have the third point is the tongue is not directly concerned in making these sounds. The lesson ma ila aidor in making these sounds, but it does not lie idle. So the tongue, هو اللسان ما ila هل قدر making هذني الأصوات. Okay, but هو it does not lie idle. يعني ما يضل هيك بس واقف. It takes up the position necessary for the following sound. يعني هو راح يتجهز لل following اللي الصوت اللي راح يجي وراها. Okay. So in here عندنا example F it will be in the E position whilst F is being pronounced and in free it will be in the R position and so on. So basically, uh, now the third, position, uh, third point, we said the tongue is not directly concerned. It's, the tongue, the sound marah yidakhal making these sounds, but it does not, it's just a stay there, okay? It takes up the position necessary for the following sound. Rahi jahaz dil, lil sound illi rahi ji ba'da. Mithal, now ni adna il fi, okay? It will be ready, it will be in the position of E position, whilst F is being pronounced, mithal, fi, E, okay? And in free, it will be in the R position. Okay, مثلاً يجي question. مثلاً هنا ينكتب tongue in this position will be in the position of فراغ. مثلاً بكلمة free. Okay, نقول in the R position. We have the difference between F and V. And V, okay, is mainly one of strength. F is a strong consonant. We need to memorize this. Okay. So, عدنا الاختلافات بين ال F وال V is mainly one of the one strength. So, ال F عدنا is a strong consonant. V is a weak one. So, ال F عدنا strong consonant. Okay. ال V is a weak one. Also, F is never voiced. يعني F is never voiced. يعني never voiced. يعني F is voiceless. يعني it does not make vibration. In our throat, okay, may so we a ihtizaz bil hunjara, but v maybe. So v, yani lo yiji murad voiceless, lo yiji voiced. But f is rather long than v, so il f is rather longer than il v. Hai li khtilafat, we need to memorize them. Okay, gin awal shi, the f is a strong consonant, il v is a weak one. f is never voiced, but il v, it may be voiced, okay. Il f is rather longer than v. So, F is a strong, voiceless, long consonant. So, مثلاً, if there is a question, describe the, the strength of the F, okay, of the phoneme F in good. F is a strong, voiceless, long consonant. Well, V is a weak, voiced, perhaps voiced, okay, قد يكون voiced, يعني, or short consonant, all right? These are the important things in this. If your language has both f and v, the sounds that you use will probably be quite well in English, provided that you are quite sure that both of them have this lip teeth action. Lip teeth will action, okay? Especially the v. Lip with teeth will action. مثلا إذا نقول f f 
your lower lip shifts, okay, in lower is touching the upper front teeth, f, v, okay, this is the lip teeth action. Although there is very little friction for v, there must always be some. It must not be completely frictionless. For the V here, mu diamond kun frictionless. Yani it must have always yani have some friction. Now, in these words, we should memorize them. Okay. Right. We have as well these words suffer and all of these. All right. Which is on page uh, twenty six. And here between phrases, مثلا very fast, okay, very vast, okay, right. And here we have when f and v occur at the end of the word after a vowel, they have an effect on the length of the vowel. يعني مثلا الف والف occur يكون بنهاية الكلمة after a vowel بعد حرف علة, okay, they have an effect. يكون عندهم تأثير on the length يعني طول of the vowel, طول للفاول, okay. The strong consonant F makes the vowel shorter. That's important. The strong consonant F, okay, she so we so we makes the vowel so we harf al sahih shorter. And now the weak consonant V makes the vowel longer. The V it makes it longer. مثلا explain the relation between the F and the vowels, okay, or the V and the vowels. مثلا that's just an example. And go. The F makes the vowel shorter. The weak consonant V makes the vowel longer. This is an important general rule which applies to many other pairs of consonants as well. مثلا, strong consonants at the end of the vowel shortens the preceding vowel. Okay, so strong consonants at the end of words. The strong consonants, the strong, okay, at the end of the words, it shortens, it قلل, يعني, the preceding vowel, يعني preceded by a vowel, يعني مسبوقة بحرف vowel, okay? عندنا the weak consonants lengthens it. The weak consonant الطويلة لل vowel, okay? Right. Here we have say these words, okay? إن هذني هم الكلمات مطلوبات من عندكم, right? As well as these stiff, cliff, and all of them. We have in here phrases, يعني ال F وال V, ال V in phrases, as well as you need to memorize them. All right. Now we have the th and the. The th and the are also friction sounds. Th is a strong and the is weak. هاي الاختلاف بيناتن. Th is strong and the is weak. Both have the position of the speech organs shown, shown in figure 13. Nana, the, and the. Okay, high figure showing how they are pronounced. Right. There is a question that we can ask for this, these points, okay? يعني مثلا, uh, how do speech organs participate in making the the and the? Okay, maybe that's a question. And go, the soft palate is raised. Okay, the soft palate is raised. So that all the breath is forced to go through uh, throughout the mouth. So the soft palate is raised, okay? نرفعها soft palate. So that all the breath, كل الهواء is forced to go through the mouth. كل ال air, ال breath is رح يجيب رح يطلع من ال mouth. The tip of the tongue, هاي the tip of the tongue is close to the upper front teeth. هي بالقرب أو يعني قريبة من ال upper front teeth. هذني upper front teeth. This is the narrowing where the friction is made. High fat has is where the friction is made. So basically, our shigina, the soft palate is raised. So all the breath is forced to go out through the mouth. Second, Edna, the tip of the tongue is close to the upper front teeth. Kariba min upper front teeth. This is the narrowing. narrowing where the friction is made. Where the friction is made. Three, Edna, the noise made by the friction for the and the is not very great. Much less than for s and z. Here, a comparison between the with the and the s and the z. All right. Now we have these words. مثلا thin, then uh, is showing how the difference between the اللي هي thin with the اللي هي then. For example, مثلا as well these words and these words they are important. You need to memorize them. And here at the between the vowels, okay, between vowels, 
the is voiced between vowels, the is voiced, but the important thing for you is to make it very short and weak. المهم إنه إنه سويها قيل الشورت يعني ويك ضعيفة and let the voicing take care of itself مثل عدنا هنا أنا author هنا أنا عدنا other okay هاي between vowels okay حروف ال this as well and so are these I will be making another video for the s and z uh, and for the other consonants friction consonants because otherwise this video is going to be long and I hope this video helped you. And thank you for listening and watching.